Hello everybody and welcome once again. Now is for an exciting, another exciting time. Let's put this devilish protection on. And if you remember this is the void sickle. And so I want to test the void sickle. What I also want is the air sickle, which I don't yes, I do have it good. So let's go and jump off the edge of the world and see what happens. So now I'm falling, falling, falling. And I suppose we shall keep falling. So now we're at minus eight nine hundred. I would normally have died by now, I think. Let's take the air signal and start going up. Start going up. Disconnected by flying not enabled on this server. Let's try again. <laughs> Doing back to Donald Cream. Okay, let's drink some of this. And then we probably can fly up. No, I'm still going down. That's what I have to do, isn't it? So maybe I can fly up now a bit faster. So it looks like you don't die as such. Whether you can do anything useful afterwards, I don't know. We'll see, shall we? So I don't want to fly towards this green thing here, I think. The idea is to actually see if we can recover. Without causing it to fly. Vertically up. I've got a long way to go. Still, it's only a thousand. Might have to draw, drink some more of this potion before I get there. Minus seven hundred. Minus six hundred. I think the potion is now worn off. But it's taking quite a long time. We're now up to minus 400, which is coming. I don't click this too fast, we're all right. So it seems. Anyway, I've got plenty of LP in the network, so that's no big deal. Minus 200. Should be getting light now. There we go. How about that? So where's the base? There we are. Ah. So I hope you enjoyed that demonstration. I'm not quite sure it says you why you're not allowed to fly, but it's not the first time I've experienced that. So now you know what this, the voyage sickle does. So maybe that's very useful. Who knows? Okay. What I've been doing is, all of this stuff I've been doing has been working up to something else. That's just, uh, there's a few things I've been doing. For example, I wanted to to get this to the, um, to the activation crystal. The activation crystal is one of the things we need for um, the builder's want. And to do that, what we need I think is, let's have a look, I can't remember the recipe off my top of my head, it's a diamond block of iron and the activation crystal should give me an unstable ingot. Let's have a look. Here we have an unstable ingot. And then, with this unstable ingot and a stick of wood, and I think the recipe is, this is interesting, we can actually create the portal to the deep dark. I'm a bit surprised about that. So shape crafting we've got more recipes. So we could actually produce some precision shears. I'm not quite sure what we would use those for. Uh, erosion shovels. Maybe these are just uh, 
I've never m built these, but this is the one I would like to build, the builder's wand. So, it's one stick and one unsta unstable ingot, and it has to be done in a vanilla um, crafting table. First things first, let's get a vanilla crafting table built. And what I'm planning, and I need a stick, one stick. And I don't think I'm going to have a problem doing this, we'll see. So let's take this table and put it here. You do die if, you, if this thing explodes, you will definitely die. So we need one diamond Oops. and one iron ingot and one stick. And of course, the division signal. So what we do is we put which way around? I think it was this way around. We take this off here, take this out of here, we put this up here, and we put this up here, and then I should get the builder's wand. And I have to do that within 10 seconds. Now there are other ways of doing that. For example, if I wanted to put this one in the middle here, I can simply, it's in slot 4, so I just press slot 4 and it goes into slot 4. So you could then speed up this process by having everything at the bottom. And that was my intention. That's why I actually built the Tinker's cast um, smeltery here. At the moment it's empty and underneath here we should find a load of metals because I was doing metals. So let's do something with those. So then we need this crafting table. We can make out of this. Um, what do we need to make? Let's go and get some templates. So we need some wood. We've got plenty in here, so this will do. We split this wood into three. Oh, in fact, what I'll do is I'll just halve it and give it one more. That'll split into three nicely. And then I shall take these five here. Is it a good number? Maybe not. I think I need to do it slightly with at least six. I need 18. Let's do 18. That'll do. So then we can split these into two and that'll give us four sticks each, which will give us 12 and 12. So if I do it like this, then we have blank templates, blank patterns, sorry. So we can take the blank patterns with one piece of wood, I think it's above it or below it, I'm not sure which, and this will make a stencil table. And in this place I get materials new. Now I've got too much stuff on me, let me just get rid of some of this stuff. I've got some, ah look, another beehive has changed into a real beehive. We shall get that. We need the beehives, of course, if we're doing bee stuff. Otherwise, you don't have any source of bees, as it were. What else do I not want in here? I thought there was something else I saw bee-like. In fact, I'm going to put this in here at the moment and try to remember where it is. Sort that out. Oh yes, these artificial hives. Let's put those. These are artificial hives. I want to get those sent. I want to send get those sent it. So that would be. Um, Five eights and four eights thirty two. So I need thirty two thousand blood in the altar. So I was going to do that before, and there might be enough in this altar. There looks like there will be. So let's just put those in there. And you may have noticed that when the switch is off, nothing else falls into it. There we've got our four. And let's just quickly check. I haven't got that with me. That. Divination signal here and see what we've got in the altar. 37,000, that's just plenty. So don't need to kill any more mobs for the time being. So we need some more bits and pieces for the um, for the Tinker's Construct stuff. So we also need a block of wood. A log of wood, I think they call it. And we can do the same thing with a log of wood. I think it's just one log of wood. One template will give me a birch part builder. And we need the crafting table, which will take this crafting table here. Make 
that up. Do the same thing with this crafting table. In this case, we'll, we'll make a, and it becomes a tool station. I think we also need the metal tool station. So let's take these and put these down over here. We can do the same with the chest as well. Have I got enough wood for a chest? I have. And then that becomes a pattern chest to store our patterns. Now I've only got one, two patterns at the moment, but I only actually want one or two. So let's go and put these down somewhere useful. Maybe here's good. So what have I got here? The stencil table. That's the first item that makes the stencils. So put that down the right. And then we want the tool station, the part builder. Very glamorous part builder with its little birch legs. And behind the part, part builder we can put the pattern chest, I think. I've got this correct. And then we want the tool station in the middle and to the right here. Let's put the tool station down here. So here are our components. So this is our pattern, so we can make a pattern. So for example, if we put in a thing, here we have a tool rod pattern. Now this is the older version of uh, Tinker's Construct. The newer versions have a different GUI type view of things. So let's have a look. What I actually want to make is, uh, I want to make a knapsack, but I also want to make the thing that we actually um, swap the hot bars over with. So it's like a belt. So I think it's called belt actually, but it's been a while since I made this. No. It's not called a belt. Let's have a look at Tinkers. There are a lot of items in Tinkers construct as well. It's quite a large mod. And I haven't, can't see it off the top of my head, but it can't be very far down here. There are so many different components, it's not true. Hmm. Well, I'll tell you what it uses, it uses the aluminium tough rod. So let's have a look for the tough rod instead. Iron tough rod, stone tough rod, bone tough rod, paper tough rod. Where is an aluminium tough rod? I would have thought to be able to see this easier than I have slime. Hardite. That's very strange. I don't think they've got one in. Very strange. All right. In fact, the bit it goes in is in this place here. So that's what I'm actually looking for. And we can make the knapsack. Yes, this one we can make. So this is made with, oh, maybe we can use iron tough rods. Let's have a look for the usages of these. That's how we make it usage I want. Right click it. Oh no. Alright we want to, I would like to make one of these anyway. So we need to make two iron tough rods. Now to make an iron tough rod we need some gold or some tinkers alloy. Now gold's going to be cheaper in this mod pack because we have it in abundance. So let's just come into this chest here I think and we've got 60 gold in here we can smelt some of those down. I think we need basically one, but we'll make two. We'll just do one, two, and that puts those in there, and they will slowly smelt it down. Now, while I was smelting that, let's make the pattern for that, so the tough rod pattern. So we need one of these here, and we need some I think it's cobblestone we need actually. Let's go and get some cobblestone. Let's 
two will be actually enough. Coming back a long way, of course. So this is the part builder, and we have the pattern chest beside it. So what we can do is we can take a stone pattern like this and put it in it. I think oh, actually a stone tool rod will do. Can we use cobblestone as well? Yes, stone tool rod. So we can make one of those and then we get a stone shard afterwards. But in fact, this is not the one I wanted. I want the tough tool rod pattern, I think. So let's go and make that one here. Now that was just the tool rod pattern. Let's go next. It looks similar, but just fatter. There we go. That should be the tough tool rod pattern. So we want one of those. Okay, now we can put actually in this chest we can put this tough root button and we should be able to see that in the part builder here. so we can swap that over put the tough pulled red button in here and maybe it needs more than one stone so look there we go now in fact it used up three i think material cost three exactly now the other one the next thing we need to do is to actually make a plate for these to smelt them onto here we come around over here and we shall put the pattern on here where has it gone to we want the tough rod one like this and we put this down here and then on top of that we put the gold if it's is it smelted oh i've been a bit silly i've got this redstone clock still running so of course the gold's gone into the into here let's just see if i can break that did it actually break or did it go somewhere else oh I didn't expect it to break I thought it would come off never mind so let's do that again now we need another 8 gold for that 7 gold for that because we put 2 in and another 2 I we'll have to smell these 9 and in fact that just happens fills up this particular um, smelter completely because we've only got one layer so we wait for those to go through that was very clever of me in fact while I'm doing while I'm waiting for those to smelt let's just dump some of the more of this stuff away as it sh we don't need it and probably I don't need all this stone let's put the cursed earth up here and try to remember where I put it I don't need this in fact I can dump that. You can combine them but uh, for the sake of it we'll dump it. Okay and actually I've got some other stuff that I'm going to do soon and these are the unbound crystals. This is a complex spell crystal and I want to do, try to do some spells over here. Well I haven't looked into that yet I need to research it. So they've just smelted down now. So while we've smelted down, let's make the pattern. So let's make the... F That's better. I thought I was going crazy. Wait for that to set. Take those two off. And let's put... Uh, that was a tough rod. Stone tough rod. Let's put the stone rod in here as well. You never know. We might need it. And two gold. And then we should have seven gold in the smelter here. Oops. Let's just put those into this here. That should fill that up. It should set and then it should disappear. It's like it's going up and down, doesn't it? Very peculiar. That's very strange. I don't know what's happened now. Doesn't matter. What we now need is some iron. So let's go and get some iron. And there should be plenty of iron in here. Yes, yeah, 64. We don't need so much. Let's take let's take nine for example. Mm. Now we need ten for this thing, don't we? That'll do. What have I just done? Have I not got any oh, no, I've got space? Thirteen. So let's smell this iron first of all. 
we'll end the hopper, let it fill up and smelt. And then we should be able to cast ourselves two iron tough rods. That'll take six. That is a tough rod cast, yes. And then we wait for those to smelt down. And while we're doing that, let's get the other ingredients. We need one gold, wasn't it? And I should have made a cast for the gold as well. Mm. A nug not a cast for a gold, I mean. Aluminium. I probably could click on uses on this and see if we can actually find a crafting shape for that one. Yes, that's aluminium and copper gives you aluminium brass, which is used in Tinkus construct. And we can make a, an aluminium cast. Look at that. That's what I want to do next. And there's nothing else we can do, I don't think. Shape crafting. No. I'm just probably stuck on thinking about 1.7 version of the mod so we needed some leather 64 we only needed six I think and one gold ingot but let's just take with me an aluminium where have they gone to ingot we create a ingot cast now you see that some of this already smelted down because there's only four blocks left in there so we can now cast if I actually get it right ah tell you what I know what the problem is we have to come over here and swap the fluids over so at the moment there's gold on the bottom five ingots and at the top here we've got nine ingots of and we just click the top one and it goes to the bottom so now I should be able to do the, do the iron Okay, pick that one up and again. Now I don't need to make this on a in the tool in the tool what's it called? The tool forge. I can do this and, and as it is. So if I'm already with three of those, three of those, one gold in the middle and then two iron tough bars, and then we get our knapsack. And the knapsack, then we can put on our back in the slot. And then when they open it up again, I have now have a knapsack which is basically an extra carrying place. So I can always put stuff up there if I want to that I use infrequently. In fact, let's get rid of some of this stuff that I don't want. Since we've already managed to get rid of, we don't need the stone tough rod, we can make one of those if we ever need one. We don't need this one because we've got a cast for that one and there was some shards of stone but I don't see those. Let's put away some more stuff up here. Now I've got this builder's wand. And I'm sure you've seen the builder's wand but just in case you haven't, let's have a demonstration of that. I would like some, hmm, there's not enough in there, but to get some more stone. So I'll just check what this is actually making. So it's making obsidian, we want to now make stone. We've got plenty of obsidian. So I'll take out two stacks of stone and then simply just go like this and like this and then we have 64 of those uh, and this one I do actually need to use the, um, the table for crafting station because I want to make some of these and with those yes I just need the builder's wand in fact while I'm thinking of this let's just take out of here this item and put in its place an aluminium ingot come over here we need to swap that over again 
I haven't got in a great place because it would be better if I could swap them over and just click on this one, five ingots of gold at the bottom and then when we right click this we shall get a gold a cast for that so we can put this cast down now and then we can swap it over like this and we can simply create ingots and I can do the same thing put a redstone clock beside it a hopper underneath and then we could have stacks of ingots coming out as well so where was I builders wand one of the things I do not like doing is well I don't mind actually it's part of the fun let's just jump it down here actually I don't really need to worry do I because I've got this void item back on myself so if we take the builders wand here come over to the edge here let's press shift and walk get to the edge now I hold this what's it going to do I hope let's yes that's right it's doing a block of nine it looks a bit strange that makes life a lot easier to extend platforms out like this it's blocks of nine at a time so you can get right out here and you could do another one and that's the, the advantage of the builders one so we can actually come over here in fact if you do it on this one you get another one over there another one over here and you start to fill out this much quicker and much easier than using a uh, doing it one at a time how about that right I don't need to jump down with this, do I? So that's butter being really working towards. The other thing I need to do, if I have a look at these hives, they should be cooked by now. No, nope, they're not cooked, they're still bubbling away. Well, let's put some more blood into the altar while we're waiting for those to cook. In fact, we could do actually harvest the other, see how the bees are getting on. These are very time consuming, but they are quite fun. And they are very resource hungry in terms of things like oils. You've got to make lots of seed oil. And then what are you gonna do with all of this wheat and stuff that you've got flying around? Flying around, how do you get rid of it? It's difficult. Throw it away, I suppose. Plenty of mobs there now. What's going on? Alright. What did I pick up? I picked up something I didn't want. I saw something fly to me. Oh, it's the gunpowder. So I don't know how long those are going to take. But while we're waiting for those, we'll go back to the bees and have a look. And you'll notice that these grow up a lot faster now, the lily plants. So we need a scoop, and we shall scoop up this hive. So look what we got this time, a pristine stock princess, that's super. And let's have a look what we got in the hives. So this is a princess, now it's night time so it's not going to, to work. Here we have some cultivated, which of course is the next level. Then we mix these cultivated with common, then we get to the next level of B. So it's all this process of going from the previous one to the other one. So we need the Bealyzer, which of course I put away. I've got too many of these, we can put rid of that one. And we can get the Bealyzer, we can put this away up here. And we can see what we've got. So this is a pristine stock cultivated princess. So that's now a pure cultivated and the and the sort of recessive side as fast speed it still produces two offspring so it'll take a while before we can get lots of them and this is actually lifespan's the shortest which is for, for generations is actually quite good but it was also a cultivated pure cultivated so now we have three pure bred cultivated drones so now we can put those back in here. This is the 
chocolate ties. We won't use the chocolate ties. We will use. We won't use those. So we got in here. We got commons in there. So we must have another one over here. Probably got. A, yes, we'll take these forest bees out of here and put these cultivators in. Mm. Yes, that's always a problem. Now what was this one? Shorter life, normal flowers. And this is. There must be a slight a shorter life. Fast worker. Okay, this is a fast worker, so that's good. So we'll do that like that, and a fast worker may take over. Then the becomes a, a, a dominant side of the of the cultivated drone. At the moment, because it's recessive, um, can't take any out of there because we need to make some more impregnated frames because they're going to break any second. Now we've got some in here, but not enough. And then when we've got a few cultivated drones, we'll go to the next breeding session. Oh, it's quite complicated, this bee stuff. Right, let's go back and... In fact, I think I've basically done what I set out today to do today. Next time, I may go... I think we'll finish off the quest because we've got this pneumatic craft stuff prepared in this chest and it's still not being used, we've got enough printed circuits I think and we'll just do that and then the one after that I shall concentrate on doing some spells because I haven't done any of those yet some of them are interesting and some of them are not so but we shall see anyway until next time bye for now